just think it's interesting to address students and realize that everything is still before them. I mean, they've obviously got a lot of talent and skill and motivation, and now they have education. Um, but what they can do is still out there. We haven't seen it yet. And when they step into that, to that real world and start performing, they're going to find out maybe they're better at something they hadn't thought of, or maybe they're not as good at something that they thought was their dream. And so I want to talk to them about how you prepare for that possibility and uh, keep moving forward. I have found there's some, some core principles and it really boils down to three things that have been really important for me. So I want to encourage students to think about, first of all, how they treat people. And that might seem like something you think about later in your career, but I'm going to suggest you think about it from the very beginning. And, and there are some, some details as to how you treat people and how you view them that can very much impact your career. And then I also want to, uh, want to encourage students to uh, decide early on how they define success. And if, and if they have that feeling of giving back, I want to change the world, figure out what that means to you and look for it in creative ways. It may not map out exactly like you thought it would. And then the final point is just keep learning. Life is changing so fast. These students are going to change jobs a number of times. It's, it's, it's the way business moves now. And if you keep learning, you're prepared. If you, if you stagnate or think uh, that diploma is the end of it, you can get caught unprepared. I've been, have had the fortune of working with people like Robert Gay, who was the chairman of Bain Capital, and um, who didn't want to go into business. He wanted to change the world. And his father, who was the right-hand man of Howard Hughes, said, change it through business. And so Bob is a very successful uh, private capital guy, uh, very wealthy now, one of the most humble people you'll ever meet, has made his mark. He started Unitas. He's funded microcredit organizations all over the world and just done things that people have no idea because he's so humble. And he did that through attaining wealth and then becoming a philanthropist. I can name other people who have created programs you have heard of who started in, in the laundry room of their home, didn't become wealthy doing it, but have affected the lives of hundreds of thousands of children. So there's no one set way uh, to go about changing the world or incorporating uh, social awareness into your business career. What my purpose has been is to utilize those people and help them more effectively do what they're trying to do. Uh, for instance, when I moved back here after spending a few years wandering around Hollywood, well, come to find out all of those talented people that I worked with in the entertainment industry, I've used almost every one of them in a charitable fundraiser in one way or another. Serves their passion, helps me with my passion. We've helped a lot of children and families around the world. So I kind of view it as um, everybody serves a purpose. And sometimes you run into somebody and think, oh, there's not anything I could possibly do for them. Well, maybe there is. They're pursuing their dreams as well. And if you view the world through their lens a little bit, which is why it's so important how you view and treat people, uh, maybe there's something you can even do for that successful CEO.